Hi, it's Eric here with Cat Avenue. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through a somewhat short video on how to do a uh, piping spool. Now this video uh, actually comes from an older video from about five years ago. So I'm kind of redoing uh, some of these older videos um, piece by piece. Uh, but there are certain sections of this uh, piping class. It was a piping class that we had. Um, there are certain sections of it that are still very valid. So um, the section I'm redoing today just basically shows the new interface, um, some different methods maybe uh, of inputting pipe, uh, still holding on to some of those older uh, methods as well. So I'm going to uh, show you how to use the uh, some of the uh, additional tools, um, but for the most part, it is it is the same. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit so we get a little bit more drawing area. Uh, down here while we're at it we can make sure that we have ortho turned on that's the f8 key uh, for entity snaps we want to make sure this is turned on um, we want to make sure that endpoint and node are turned on just those two for now the other way of getting to object snaps is just typing os and it gets us right in there as far as some of the other settings I'm going to just refer you to an older video just to keep this video short. Um, some of the, um, uh, you know, just setting up a dim scale, uh, making sure that you've um, got the right kind of unit set up. Those are all important. So I'm going to uh, leave a couple of links there at the bottom as far as drawing setup goes. Uh, and then maybe later I'll, I'll do a new video about that. Let's go ahead and use these two shortcuts. I'll show you. Uh, basically what they they do so that this allows you to get into the different isometric views as well this one is handy if you want to just toggle between wireframe and shade mode so this is relatively new uh, feature in the program uh, what we're gonna be doing today is using this orbit tool to sort of view our model uh, as you can see uh, we've got this section here which is much lower than the valve and we want to connect up into it uh, using a T some elbows and then routing some pipe in there and I am going to be using in MetQ if we load up the MetQ piping I am going to be using uh, the butt welded piping and in my options menu here I've got uh, some well gap uh, allowance set as well. So I'm going to show you how to use that. For my size, I'm going to be using 4 inch pipe. And I'm going to start off by just creating some flanges. So uh, we'll select this flange here. I've got welding neck selected here. I'm simply going to just select this. And I'm going to go down and select the uh, node here at the center of the pipe. I left click and I'm going to point in the upstream direction, which is here. And that inserts the flange there. We'll do another one on the opposite side. Now I need to start the uh, the flange before I can actually view that other side. So let's go ahead and start it. Just like we did the last one. Let's go ahead and use that real-time orbit to kind of orbit around to the other side. And look at that. Pan over a little bit. All right, so we'll escape. We'll escape out of that, and then we'll come back and we'll finish this. Now, it's wanting us to pick the the node. Uh, we can zoom out now and pick the upstream direction, and that's going to put in the other uh, flange there. 
The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a T in between those two flanges. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to show you a little trick here. So we'll pick the T from the menu. We'll pick this from the, the midpoint center. Now these are clickable, so just click the, the one here and zoom down just a little bit. And if we shift right click, we'll have an option here, a third from the top, mid between two points. So click on this. And then again, we're going to want our node here. And our node on this side. And that's going to give us the midpoint. Uh, I'm not uh, snapping to anything quite yet. I need to just tell it the upstream direction. It doesn't really matter which side. And that puts the pipe in. And at this point, I can just rotate it uh, directly up. Because I have that ortho turned on down here, remember from the beginning, uh, so I can just point it straight up. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some pipe in now. Choose a straight piece. We're picking the node here and the node here. And then we're pressing enter. At this point, it asks us if we want a well gap. And we're going to answer yes to each side. And that's going to uh, put that uh, uh, piece in there so that it will put the weld in there for us. Let's do the other side. We're going to snap to this side. And then this side, same thing. Press Enter. And then we answer yes for the weld gap on the left and the well gap on the right. So now that we have the uh, this assembly in, we can add an elbow in. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to be moving this elbow up, by the way, to align it with the valve. But for now, we're just going to put it in right there. Upstream direction, this way. Well gap, we can say yes. And then we're going to point it to the right there, just like so. So let's get out of this and just have a look at what we've done so far. So we've got this elbow pointed this way. And then what we need to do is we need to is move this uh, elbow up so that it aligns with the valve. Um, so let me show you how we do that. So in the piping extra tools, click on this down arrow and choose slide item by point. We can pick the elbow that we need to move and press enter and now the slide point is a little tricky because um, you need to make sure that you select the node of the pipe here and then as you see real close there's a node here where these two angles converge let me show you what I mean by that so the first point is going to be right here and then the second point is going to be right here. So that gives us the alignment. Uh, in other words, the angle that this is going to move up at. And the alignment point is going to be that little node in there. And then it's saying the point to align to. And that's going to be here. So that's just going to push the that elbow up uh, to the same height as the valve. So now what we need to do is we're going to have a piece of pipe that comes this way and makes a right hand turn or elbow and hits this elbow and then goes of course back down to the T. So let me show you how to do that. First of all we need a, um, another flange on this end here. A 
do this the same way as the other one. Pick the upstream direction. I'm going to turn on my um, perpendicular snap real quick here. I'll show you a little, another little tip. Um, now from the toolbar up here, I'm going to choose the uh, array from base point and then draw in a couple of construction lines. So the first point is going to be here, coming out this way. And the second one is going to be this way. And that's going to give us the intersection of these two pieces of pipe. So we can just come down and let MetQ put that elbow in for us. So let's start up the, uh, the piping dialog again. And we're going to just put a straight piece in here. Snap to the node, and we have our perpendicular snap on, so it's snapping to that uh, intersection there. And then we go to this point here. And that's going to put the elbow in for us, but then at the same time, it's going to ask us for the well gap for this section here. So we need to answer yes, and then yes, and then we press enter to finish this run here. And then it's going to ask us the well gap for, for that section. So we say yes and yes. We can put one more piece in here. Again, we need to snap to the nodes. Press enter. And then answer yes to both of those sides there. So now we have this whole piping spool drawn in here. To erase these construction lines, there's a little uh, tool here that says clear all, and that gets rid of everything. So that was real easy. In my next video, I may just uh, work on this section here and put a, a pump and a flexible coupling in as well. If you wanted to see how to do a bill of materials on this section, just the red piece, uh, I have a video on that, and I also have a video on how to dimension this spool here as well. So feel free to email me or call me. The number here is 888-271-7121. I can also be reached at info at cadavenue.com. And thanks and have a great day. Bye.